Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about multi-step equations. Um, it's going to be very similar to the last thing that you did, which would be uh, solving one and two step equations, except, you know, it's going to most likely have more than one or just one or two steps. So, as normal, I need you to go ahead and get the notes that uh, you either have from the packet or go ahead and print out the notes from the Dropbox on Google Classroom. Uh, as you should know by now, I want you to upload a picture of your completed notes in order to get credit for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on LiveGrades or text me. Let's get started. So, uh, we're going to have multiple steps for uh, going to solve multi-step equations. And it'll most likely be the same thing each time. So, what we're going to do so the first thing we're going to do is distribute. And this is only if it's necessary. The second step is to combine like terms. And the third step is to solve. So in other words, you're solving for x, or solving for the variable. So let's look at a few examples. If we go down to number 1, we have 9x plus 1 minus 7x minus 5 is equal to negative 20. First step is the distribute. Since we don't have any distribution uh, for this problem, we can skip that one. So we're going to move on to combining like terms. So on the left side of the equation, we have a 9x and negative 7x. We're going to combine those two. So 9x minus 7x, that gives me 2x. And we're going to mark through these so we don't use them again. And then we have a plus 1 and a minus 5. 1 minus 5 gives us negative 4. And that's equal to negative 20. Now what we have to do is solve for x. So, we work from the uh, farthest thing from x on the same side of the equal sign. So in this case, it's going to be this minus 4. We have to get rid of it. In order to do that, we have to add 4. What if we do on one side? We do on the other. So we have to add 4 on the right side of the equal sign. This leaves us with 2x on the left. And we have negative 20 plus 4 is negative 16. And finally, we have to get rid of this 2. And in order to do that, since it's being multiplied, we're going to divide on both sides. These 2's cancel. We're left with x is equal to negative 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. So that's our first problem. Let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 is 91 is equal to negative 7 times the quantity 3a minus 1. So with this one we have to distribute. So let's go ahead and do that. We had negative 7 multiplied by 3a. That's negative 21a. Then we have negative 7 multiplied by negative 1. That's positive 7 or plus 7. And that's equal to 91. Now we have to combine like terms. Well, it looks like we don't really have anything to combine, so we can skip that step and we can go straight to solving. So, first thing, we have to get rid of this positive 7. In order to do that, we can subtract 7 on both sides. 91 minus 7 gives us 84 is equal to. These things cancel. We're left with negative 21a. And since we're solving for a, we just have to get rid of this negative 21. Since it's being multiplied, we're going to divide by negative 21 on both sides. This gives us, well, these negative 21's cancel. We have 84 divided by negative 21. That is negative 4. So we have negative 4 is equal to on this side, the only thing that's left over is an a. So we have negative 4 is equal to a, and that's going to be our answer. 
Okay, let's move on to number three. So with this one, we have 4m minus 5 times the quantity of 3m plus 10 is equal to 126. First thing we have to do is distribute. So we're going to be distribute, distributing a negative 5. So first thing, we have negative 5 times 3m, as we have 4m. Negative 5 times 3m is negative 15m. Negative 5 times 10 is negative 50. It's equal to 126. Next, we combine like terms. So this 4m and negative 15m. So it's 4m minus negative 50, or sorry, 4m minus 15m. That's going to give us a negative 11m minus 50. These things cancel. This is the only thing left over, so it just moves down. It's equal to 126. Now we solve this equation. So we get rid of the negative 50 first. That means we're going to add 50 to both sides. I'm going to move over here. So we have negative 11m. These things cancel is equal to 126 plus 50, which is 176. And then we have to solve for m. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 11, since we're trying to get rid of this negative 11 and it's being multiplied. Top cancels with the bottom. We're left with m is equal to 176 divided by negative 11. That gives us negative 16. And that's going to be our answer. All right, number four. This time we have to distribute twice. So let's start from the left and work our way to the right. So we have negative three times the quantity k minus eight minus the quantity k plus five is equal to 23. First thing, we have negative three, we have to distribute. So we have negative three times k, that's negative three k and negative 3 times negative 8. Negative 3 times negative 8 is going to be a positive 24. And we're done with this one. Now we have this guy. So we have a negative 1 here. So negative 1 times k, that's going to be negative k. And negative 1 times 5 is going to be negative 5. And that's equal to 23. Next step is to combine like terms. So we're going to combine everything with a k first. So we have negative 3k and negative k. If we add those two things together, we have negative. We have negative 4k. We're done with those. Now we have 24 and negative 5. If we combine those two things, we have 24 minus 5, which is positive 19. That's equal to 23. Now we just have to solve this equation. So first step is to subtract 19 from both sides. We're left with negative 4k. So these things cancel. Is equal to 23 minus 19, which is 4. Now we just have to solve this equation. So we have negative 4k is equal to 4. We have to divide both sides by ne negative 4. So I'm going to move up here. Negative 4k equal to 4. We're going to divide by negative 4 on both sides. These can cancel. We're left with k is equal to 4 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 1. And that's our answer for number 4. Let's take a look at number 5. So we have 20 is equal to 10x minus 6 times the quantity 2x plus 5. With this one, we have to distribute again. So we have 20 is equal to 10x. We have to distribute this minus 6, this negative 6. So we're going to distribute it. Negative 6 times 2x is negative 12x. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Now we have to combine like terms. So we're going to combine the x's. What's 10x minus 12x? Well, that's negative 2x. We're done with those two. Negative 30 is just by itself, so we're going to add it on down here. We have 20. So 20 is equal to negative 2x minus 30. We just have to solve this equation. First step, add 30 to both sides. 
we have 20 plus 30 is 50 is equal to negative 2x. These things cancel. And we have to solve for x, so we have to divide by negative 2 on both sides. 50 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 25. And negative 2x divided by negative 2, well, the negative 2 cancel. And we're left with x. So x is equal to negative 25, and that's our answer. Let's move on to the second page. All right. So with this one, you're going to be in charge of doing number 7. And number 9. And go ahead and try number 10. Okay. So number 6, we have 8 times the quantity 2w minus 1 minus 4w is equal to negative 116. So we have to distribute first. So we have 8 times 2w, that is 16w. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. Minus 4w is equal to negative 116. Now we have to combine like terms. So we have 16w, negative 4w. If we add those two things, we have 12w. Those cancel. We're left with negative 8. It's equal to negative 116. In order to solve this, we have to add 8 on both sides. Negative 16 plus 8 gives me negative 108. These things cancel. We're left with 12w. In order to get rid of this 12, we have to divide. So we have to divide by 12 on both sides. That leaves us with w is equal to negative 108 divided by 12 gives us a negative 9. And that's our answer for number 6. Like I said, number 7 is yours to try by yourself. Let's move on to number 8. So we have negative 25 is equal to 1 half times the quantity 10x minus 2 plus 3x. So first thing we have to do is distribute the 1 half. So we have negative 25 is equal to 1 half times 10x. So 1 half times 10 is 5x. Then we have 1 half times negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 half. That's the same thing as saying negative 2 over 2 plus 3x. Right. This negative 2 over 2 can be changed to negative 1. We're going to combine like terms now. So we have 5x plus 3x. That gives us 8x. We're done with those two. We're left with negative 1. This negative 25 just moves down. So we have negative 25 is equal to 8x minus 1. In order to solve this, we have to add 1 to both sides. Negative 25 plus 1 gives us negative 24 is equal to 8x. After that, we just have to figure out what, or what to do from here. So since we have 8 times x, we have to divide by 8 on both sides. Negative 24 divided by 8 leaves us with negative 3 is equal to 8x divided by 8. The 8's cancel. We're left with x. And therefore, we have negative 3 is equal to x is our final answer. All right, number nine is yours to try on your own, and number 10 is yours to try on your own. Remember, uh, in order to get full credit for this work, you have to take a picture of your completed notes, meaning you have to take a picture with seven, nine, and 10 completed to get full credit. Uh, you will have a homework assignment that will be posted along with this video. And don't forget to do Imagine Math for this week. You have to have two lessons, two completed lessons and one hour of work in order to get full credit. If you have any questions about this, please email me or text me on LiveGrades or text me like on my phone, and I will respond as soon as possible. I hope you have a wonderful day.